fasting glucose is about like around usually 85 earnings. Um, A1C is now 5.6. So it went from 14% down to 5.6 in about five months. I, I was shocked. I was not expecting it to be that number. I didn't think they had my numbers. <laughs> I thought it had to be someone else's because it's 5.6 is at a non-diabetic number. So I didn't even think, I'm like, no, surely that's not mine. But I mean it, just kind of taking a step back and realizing, no, that's, that's it. That's possible. This, this is working. This is probably healthier than what I was before. It's a pretty crazy story. I was just diagnosed in February of 2020, so about six months ago. Had no idea. Um, I actually found out by doing a blood work screening at work, and my fasting glucose came back super high, 362, and my A1C was 14%. So I immediately knew something was wrong, but I had no idea like what was going on. I was kind of in denial at first. Um, and so I, I, I really didn't know what to do. I, I mean, I was 29 in February, just turned 30. So I'm like, who gets diagnosed as type one diabetic at 29 years old? So um, ended up, going to the hospital, figuring it out, and um, kind of thought my life was over. <laughs> I now have diabetes, and so give up everything that you know and love, and this is what you have for the rest of your life. I thought it was pretty healthy. Like, I've always loved fruits, vegetables, always have been active, didn't really have any kind of diet that I followed. I would just eat anything. Um, if I wanted the sweets, I would eat it. If I wanted a burger, I would eat it. So I didn't really have any guidelines for myself, just ate it all. Upon diagnosis, my doctor is basically like, do what you want, eat whatever you want, we'll adjust your insulin, give you as much insulin as you need. And I'm like, that doesn't seem right. And um, I actually had a friend at church tell me about mastering diabetes. She had a friend who told her she eats whole food plant-based diet, not as a diabetic and has changed her life. So she's been following the program let me know about it. And I'm like, wait, you, you can eat this way? Being a diabetic, I thought these are all the foods you're not supposed to eat. So I was like, well, okay, I'm going to check into it. This, I mean, this has to be something. If there's like a book program, people are living this way. I figured, why not? What's it going to hurt? I mean, I've, I've wanted to go plant-based for actually a long time for like um, ethical reasons and just I know it's healthy, but I always thought it was really, really hard and I could never make it stick. I would always like revert back to my comfort foods. So got the book first, immediately started reading the book, um, joining the webinars online that they would have every week. And I was like, I'm all in, I'm doing it. Jumped into the deep end and honestly, I failed. <laughs> I. I think I bit off more than I can chew, so to speak. Sounded great, looks great, black and white, but I kind of got stuck with not knowing what exactly I was doing. Like I wasn't getting enough of the right foods. And so it was very easy for me to revert back into my old habits again, um, which I kind of look at as a, a blessing because it showed me just how much the method was working when I was doing it, because then I went from, feeling really bad at diagnosis, feeling really good, starting to get energy back. And then I got out of control again, feeling tired all the time. My blood glucose levels weren't controlled. They were spiking up, bottoming out. And uh, so, I mean, it showed me that what I was doing with the whole food plant based mastering diabetes method works. Um, so I kind of backed off a little bit. It wasn't condemning myself for not being perfect at it, just trying to figure it out. And I started just making those changes slowly with um, just one meal at a time and cutting little things out here and there. And it's gone so much smoother that way. Fasting glucose is about like around usually 85 earnings. Um, A1C is now 5.6. So it went from 14% down to 5.6 in about five months. I, I was shocked. I was not expecting it to be that number. Um, I was expecting it to be any sort of lower in the single digits and I was going to be happy. 
I almost thought they didn't have the right blood test. I didn't think they had my numbers. <laughs> I thought it had to be someone else's because it's 5.6 is at a non-diabetic number. So I didn't even think, I'm like, no, surely that's not mine. But I mean it, just kind of taking a step back and realizing, no, that's, that's it. That's possible. This, this is working. This is probably healthier than what I was before. So right after diagnosis, I was told to like eliminate carbs. Um, don't eat carbs. Those are the enemy. So I was at like less than 100 grams per day, which I was struggling, like consistently measuring out foods, eating a ton of fat, a ton of protein. It was not working. I didn't know how to even eat food. I was scared to eat food. Um, now I'm at like almost 300 grams of carbs a day. My insulin ratios to carbs have gone down. I'm now at like 30, 30 carbs to one unit of insulin, where I was at like five to one before. Weight was a little bit different for me because like I've never struggled with weight and then I dropped weight dramatically like I looked like a skeleton it was scary and so I actually gained weight back which I was really happy about and so I'm now at a healthy weight and I maintain it no no problems at all now usually in the mornings um I like oatmeal in the mornings a little bit of oatmeal and a fruit in the mornings um lunch is usually a huge salad more fruit. Um, I've added in a lot of beans, lentils, legumes, which I didn't really eat before. I'm like, why th those are to eat those? But now I've learned to love them and replace those into my diet. Eat, cut out pasta really. Um, eat a lot of like zucchini noodles, butternut squash noodles instead. Um, I mean, most of it is really fruit and vegetables. <laughs> I feel like a rabbit sometimes because I'm eating so much, but it's the flavors taste so much richer now, where the flavors that even from before they, like my taste buds have completely changed. Um, you can like taste the vibrance in the fruit. I have more energy than I had before. Um, I was struggling to even like walk up a flight of stairs. I would literally be out of breath and have to stop and take a break out of one flight of stairs. Um, now I'm, I'm starting to run, which I've always hated running, but I'm starting to run a little bit more, um, getting back into activities that I like, like rock climbing, um, starting to lift weights again, because I now have that energy to do so. I, I couldn't even think about it before. I wanted to, but I just couldn't even fathom having that energy to do so, which is probably one of my biggest things to do with getting active. I didn't know what to do with my blood sugars. I'm like, what do I do? Just make sure it's super high and then let it come down. But then it, I was like constantly going up into the 200s and bottoming out down into the 50s. But now I know like the right snacks to eat before I work out. And then if it's a long day of doing something active, I like I have those little things in between and it stays pretty constant um, all, all day long. There's no spikes. There's no bottoms. It's it, it's kind of surprising, kind of shocking. Start slowly, um, which it's all planned out. Like if you have the book too, it's all, it's literally all planned out in there. Um, but start slowly and change one thing at a time. Um, change one meal at a time. Don't try and do everything at once. Um, look at just one meal, start with breakfast. Breakfast is super easy to start with, I think. It's a, a big meal of the day, but it's not, it's just a lot of simple ingredients. Um, and give yourself the grace to learn as you go. Um, it's not going to be perfect in the beginning, but I don't know if you're ever going to be perfect at it. Um, so giving yourself the grace to learn it and let it take effect before you say, oh, this isn't working. Um, give it like two weeks so you can see those changes happening first. I see this not as just a way to manage my blood glucose levels to keep my A1C down. But as an actual lifestyle change, that one day when I have a family of my own, I want to have that be a lifestyle for my family and introducing my friends to it and people that I talk to at work, um, coaching to this for other people, even if, it's, even if they're not diabetic. Um, it's a lifestyle change where it's just for your overall health. It doesn't have to be for blood glucose levels. Um, 
but keeping it as making those little changes so that it is sustainable. Where I thought before, I'm like, how are people vegetarians, let alone vegans? That's not sustainable. How is that even possible? But realizing, I mean, the idea of things you get to eat with like eating like this, you actually, there's a lot more options, I feel, now that I had myself in a box of that, a typical um, American diet that there's so many foods I was missing out on now that I get to eat and enjoy.